What's up y'all? It's me, it's Kayla. Before I get into this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post videos about my life, weight loss, wellness, and my journey to self-love and happiness. Also hit that little bell icon, it notifies you every time I post a new video. So let's go ahead and get into this video. One of my most popular videos to date is how I lost 40 pounds in two months. Now that was the first video I really ever made about my weight loss and I wish that I could have done it differently in so many ways. I mean, I don't regret being sassy because that's just who I am, but I wish I had given a lot more information, but I didn't know at that time what people would want to know. I didn't know that I would get so many questions about it. So now that I'm doing another day of eating how I did when I lost 40 pounds, I decided to show you all what I'm eating for the day. Now, of course, following this plan doesn't guarantee that you're going to lose 40 pounds in two months. I mean, but who doesn't want to lose 20 pounds a month for two months. That sounds amazing. But it depends on two things, two things for real. One, your starting weight. The more weight you have to lose, the faster you're gonna lose weight at that time. When I did this, I was around 280 pounds. So I was pretty high up there, which is why I was able to pull such big numbers. Also, it depends on how you were eating before you start this diet. I was eating tons of sugar. I'm talking about whole rolls of cinnamon rolls, dozen donuts. I was eating that kind of stuff. So going from that to a low carb diet resulted in me losing a lot of weight quickly. So I just wanted to put that out there. You might not lose 40 pounds in two months, but you will definitely lose weight if you follow this. Now everything in this video is my opinion and from my experience. If you don't agree with it, if you don't like it, you can take that shit somewhere else or do what you want to do. Leave me a bunch of comments about how starvation mode works in your opinion or whatever you read in a magazine once. Do it if you want to, but you're wasting your time. So before I get into what I'm eating for the day, I want to tell you my results I feel like were due to one of two things. One of two things. The first thing is I tracked everything and I tracked what I was going to eat the day before or before I started eating. In my case, in my experience, I ran into a lot of trouble if I didn't already know what I was going to eat. If I was in the kitchen like, I don't know what to, I don't know what to eat, that's when I would reach for cookies and chips and things like that. So I made sure I knew exactly what I was eating when. And how did I do that? I did it with MyFitnessPal. Now you can download the MyFitnessPal app on your phone or there's also a website if you want. I just use the free version, I don't use the pro version. I do wanna say if you've been messaging me about adding me as a friend, you cannot, you can no longer do that. I created a separate account because my friend requests were bonkers in the other one and I just I just couldn't handle it it was too many people I didn't know who to say no to who to say yes to so right now I use a private my fitness pal account that I'm not friends with anyone on I feel like it's only fair so tracking everything I tracked everything this is today this is what I'm eating today I planned this out last night so I didn't even have to run into any trouble today I know what I'm eating I'm not gonna change this this is what it is. The second thing my results relied upon were having a scale. Now this is a body scale and a food scale. If you don't have either one of these, you can check out the links in my description. I have some discount codes from Vanity Planet. I use these scales all the time. I love them. So the reason why I recommend having a body weight scale is for one, you know your results. You're less likely to want to go to McDonald's or Chipotle if you know that today you got on the scale and you lost a pound. You're a lot less likely to stray from your diet if you see the results. The other one is a food scale. Now you can lose weight without weighing and measuring all of your food, right? But this is the only way that you can be 100% sure how much you're putting into your body. And this is what I did. I weighed myself often. I weighed all the food, everything that I was eating, unless it was in um, like serving size of one, like the chicken breast that I use. One chicken breast is one serving size and it's in a pouch, so it's easy. So I weighed myself, I weighed my food, I tracked everything that I was gonna eat the day before. I feel like those really contributed to my success and I just wanted to pass that along to you if you're maybe not seeing results and you don't do those things, maybe try it out. 
So one last thing, let me give you some more specifics because I didn't in my other videos and I wish that I did, but I'll do it now. So my guidelines were, one, to stay under 20 grams of net carbs per day. To get your net carbs, you're going to take your total carbohydrates and you're gonna subtract the fiber and that's your net carbs. I tried to stay at 20 or less net carbs per day. Around Shark Week, I was kind of, you know, 25 to 30 because I needed some chocolate. And when I was on a roll and I didn't really need carbs, I was around five to 15 grams of net carbs. I think 20 grams is the sweet spot. You'll have no problem losing. If you want to go less, you'll lose a little faster. If you want to go a little bit higher, you'll lose a little bit slower, but it's not that huge of a difference. The next is protein. I had a protein requirement every day. If you check out the description, there's a link to a website. It's a calculator. You put in your activity, your height, your weight, all that good stuff, and it'll tell you how much protein you should eat. Now, I should have been more specific about this in my other videos, but I wasn't, and then I got all these questions and I didn't really know how to answer them. So let me tell you what I did. I went to this calculator, put all my stuff in, I used the CDC, and I tried to shoot for the ends. It says 10% to 35% of your daily calorie intake, so I try to hit as close to 35% as I can. So my only goals were to get 20 or less net carbs per day and to hit my protein goal, which is 35% of my daily intake. Those were my only goals. I didn't have a goal for fat, but I did try to keep my fat as low as possible. So I didn't really have much fatty food. I didn't have fatty cuts of meat. If I was eating eggs, I would have some whole eggs and the rest egg whites. As far as calories, you can figure that out on your own. You can use any of the millions, bajillions of calculators on the internet. Um, just put in your weight, your height, all of that, and your activity level. That's where we're gonna differ. People get mad at me for how many calories I took in, which obviously I'm not starving, but I have a very sedentary lifestyle. I don't exercise and I don't have a job where I'm up walking around. I do not expend much energy at all, so I'm gonna eat a lot less calories than someone who maybe is a teacher or you have to walk places for work and you also exercise. So it's on you to figure out how many calories per day you should eat. Check out, uh, check out some calculators, I don't know. So, now that we've gotten all of that together, let me tell you, according to my fitness pal, what I'm eating today. So for breakfast, surprise, surprise, I'm eating eggs. I'm gonna use a cup of spinach, two large eggs and two egg whites, and a thin slice of provolone cheese. Pretty basic, you know. I like my eggs. You have to start the day out with eggs in my case. For lunch, I'm having a shrimp salad with a serving of shrimp, a serving of crumbled feta cheese, and some steakhouse dressing from Ken's. Two tablespoons of that on a cup of lettuce. For dinner, I'm just gonna keep it super simple. I'm gonna use an Olay Wellness Extreme low carb spinach wrap, put a chicken breast in there and a slice of provolone cheese. Maybe throw some lettuce in there, maybe some chopped up onions, and eat that as a sandwich. Last but not least, we have snacks. Snacks are so important. One of my snacks is going to be a Jif to go peanut butter cup. I love these things. You don't have to like weigh out peanut butter and weighing out peanut butter is an issue. If you've ever tried to measure out one serving of peanut butter, I'm sure you've been livid, absolutely livid. So I like these things because I don't have to weigh it out and I know how much I'm getting and I can't be surprised because once I lick that cup clean, it's done. Also, a snack, which is also gonna be dessert, I'm gonna have a serving of enlightened chocolate ice cream. I love enlightened. If I'm not eating enlightened for dessert, I'm eating a no sugar added fudge pop. Y'all know, y'all know what it is. So that's all that I'm eating today. If I go to my nutrition tab, my calories are just under 1200 for the day. Now, if you have a problem with it, you could take it somewhere else. It is completely fine. I won't go into starvation mode. And if you think that I will, maybe you should hit up Google and figure out what the hell, you, where you went wrong, because that's not how it works. So um, just under 1200 calories for the day. Protein, I got 114 grams of protein, which turns out to be 37% of my daily intake. And you know, my goal said to 35%. Cool, cool. And 
right at 20 grams of net carbs. If you're interested, my fat grams came to 66 grams of fat. So like I said, it's not very high. Most of that actually came from the eggs and the salad dressing. So not very high, it would probably be a lot lower, but the salad dressing I like lately, I'm just obsessed with it. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna eat today following the 40 pounds in two months weight loss plan that I came up with. Okay, I didn't come up with it. It's basically a Duke and diet, like let's be real. I didn't come up with this, but low carb, low fat, high protein. It's basically a Duke and diet and this is where I even got this idea from. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you know an answer to one of the questions, go ahead, you have my you have my go ahead to answer the questions. But if you answer it wrong, we're gonna have problems. Okay, not really, I'm just being dramatic. So that's all for this video. I will talk to you later. I need to go get some food in me because I've expended a lot of energy in this video. Like I'm talking really fast for some reason and I'm hungry. I'm burning calories here. I'm burning calories that I don't have. Okay, um, sorry that I got a little bit out of control. <laughs> I will talk to you all later. Bye, oh, oh, oh. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. It lets me know what you want to see for my channel. All right, I'll actually see you later now. Bye.